Hi, this is Dale, the spyware prevention guy. Today I want to show you how to use the event viewer. It's a built-in Windows snap-in module. It's a utility that I use to check for Windows system and application errors. With that said, let's go ahead and go find it. Now, if you're using Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7, it pretty much works the same way. You'll just have a different look. But you can start here at the Start button and then go to your computer icon or button, right click it and select manage. And here we are, we're at the computer management console. Over here we can expand the event viewer and I like to look mostly at the Windows logs so we'll expand that. And here in the application section I'm going to increase my window there and here we can look to see at all the events that Windows has logged since the last time that I cleared it. I believe in the beginning there was a, a warning there. Now you're always going to have some hiccups in here, some warnings and some errors. It's the one that are repetitive that I'd be concerned about. And let's see, the system one, those are the more critical ones. And I believe I do have a few errors in here I'm going to show you. Okay, there's one. Now let's go see what that is. I'm going to click on it, and if you can notice down here, it gives me a little bit of information here. I happen to know that this is the super anti-spyware software. Uh, I've been having problems with this on my 64-bit Windows 7 Ultimate system here, and right now it's not even running, so I need to go look at that. But what you could do is you could double-click it, and you can go in here and copy this information and then you can go Google it and see what else we got there's some pop-up errors it's been a little while here since I looked disk errors uh, this one showed a bad block on a hard drive hard disk 8 now I happen to know that that was a drive that I connected to my computer via a USB interface, so it wasn't my hard drive inside, it was somebody else's drive. I would be very concerned if you actually see your C drive. Usually it's going to say hard disk 0 or hard disk 1. If your C drive's got a bad block, you need to run check disk or get prepared for another hard drive. you can see there's quite a bit of information in here. I typically like to clear my event viewer every so often so that when I go back in I'll know that it's something recent. I'm not always worried about the old info because I may have taken care of it. Right now I'm using an AVG free antivirus on here and there was an error with that and I just had to reload that yesterday as a matter of fact. So as you can see that you can find little errors in here and uh, they'll tell you about the program or the system area of Windows that you're having problems with. You can copy and paste what you find there and you can go into Google and just Google it. Over here, there's a website called Bleeping Computers. I'm familiar with it. Uh, other people have had this issue. Uh, you can browse these forums, and sometimes you might actually find somebody <laughs> through here after a lot of sifting who found a solution to their problem. If you don't find it in that site, well, as you can see, there's more. Trust me, if you're persistent enough, you'll find the answer on the Internet. And if you're good enough with with Windows and can follow instructions you'll probably find the answer on how to deal with it. Anyways that's all I wanted to show you with the event viewer log. Um, I'm going to clear mine right now. I'm not going to save the contents. You could if you wanted. And that way the next time I reboot my computer I'll see what what shows up and see what's actually currently failing if anything. Uh, most of the time my logs are pretty clean. I just let this one go so that I can demonstrate this video to you. With that said, this is Dale, the spyware prevention guy. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you and bye-bye.